So right here, I'm just barely uh, finishing up my haircut, man. You guys pretty much have seen this. This one's a two on the top, uh, medium high taper fade, ball taper on the edges. So I, I felt like this is just another review. So you've seen this already. I want to spend more time today on the beard products and the shaving equipment that I'm using. So remember, I always like to start off and find a location and go. I like to check where his beard is the darkest and then you know try to try to work away till we get to it. I, I got a light shady beard, so I, I really gotta do a lot of fading. So right here you guys know this is the one with the grain open going to get actually that's a one going against. Now I'm going with the grain with the half closed just to smooth it out a little. So I would do at least this far if I wasn't lining his beard up because I want to make sure when he gets out of my chair that back line is done. You know, blend the beard, to, blend the haircut to the beard. You at least gotta do that. I think. But right here, he's definitely a lot thicker on the bottom part than the top part of his beard. So I want to remove a little bit more of that before I get started. This way, kind of looks like it's the same length even though the top part's longer in length but the other one's shorter but thicker always look at your angles when you shape up man keep it like i said as natural as, as they got it try to keep their beard where they have it but all, all your job is to do is remove minimal hair as possible and give it that cleaned up look so right here, I'm just eyeballing the shape. Taking out in places where he's thicker, leaving it where he's thinner. That's the one, I mean, that's the zero guard all the way open. Smoothing out that mustache. I, I generally like a mustache to go from a half with the grain to a one with the grain to a one and a half. Those are my... Those are my lengths I like. Anything more than that, it just looks too thick. Now that I got his uh, beard generally lined up, what I'm gonna do now is add the shaving cream. I'm applying the cream just pretty much everywhere where I plan to use the razor. Once I, once I apply this hot towel, I, I let it sit for about anywhere between, I'd say about a minute to a minute and a half. This way, it melts that shaving cream in, it gets in their skin, and it makes it a lot smoother. Because when I, when I pull that off, if you notice, you can't even see the cream. That cream is there, and it's inside the skin already, and now it's on me just to tighten up those lines. Less is more, man. Always clean up. Focus on the clean up behind the line. Not, not so much coming to the line. Now I brush that hair the opposite way. Just to make sure if he was laying on his bed, he wakes up, you know, the hair's not hanging over. What that also does too is when you comb it back the other way, it gives it a natural taper. Not everybody prefers beard oil, man. You definitely want to talk to your clients about it, man. A little bit of beard oil goes a long way. And this is the number two on top, high ball taper with a faded beard. Uh, got a little bit of beard oil in there. And uh, there it is, guys. Any questions, man, comment below. Let's go.